came to Columbus, Ohio in 1959. Uh, my father was in the Army, and he was stationed at Fort Hayes. We lived in Fort Knox, Kentucky on base, and I can remember my parents um, getting out the map and saying, well, where is Columbus, Ohio, anyway? Uh, I had lived in Honolulu, Hawaii, uh, New Orleans, and then Fort Knox, so we had moved quite a bit. And uh, we drove into the west side of town. At that time, the end of the west side was Great Western Shopping Center. And we got a meal. I remember this, the sun was setting. I think we ate in Howard Johnson's, maybe. And uh, the sun was setting, and I was sitting on a stool going, man, you know, Columbus, Ohio. I wish we could have been in Wyoming. You know, I wanted to be a cowgirl because I was like seven years old. And uh, never expected to stay here, never, ever. We uh, had the house all packed up once to go to California. Uh, and uh, they uh, changed the orders that night. We got a phone call. Everything was packed. We got a phone call and said, you're staying. And I have been in Columbus ever since, except for a short stint in Laramie, Wyoming, which was absolutely miserable. <laughs> After I graduated from college, we lived on the west side. We lived off of Mound Street for most of that time. When we first came in, we lived in Westgate Manor. Um, and my parents wanted to move out of there the first year because some guy shot himself beneath us, I think. Mm -hmm. And then we moved over on Vaughn Street near the Christ, uh, Christian Free Drive-In where they told you you were going to hell all the, on Friday nights. <laughs> and uh, used to play in the back of the screen there. And everybody kept saying, oh, that's filthy and bums from the railroad come off. That never really had any problem. And the, uh, our yard had this bump in it. And it was hard to mow the grass and everything. So the landlord decided to straighten that bump out. And it wasn't very big. But when they did level it off, there were arrowheads. Mm -hmm. 